Walt uh, here, just looking into some different types of sleeve drives today. You can see one behind me here, the Creasy two-stroke sleeve valve. Now, you can see here, this represents the center of the crankshaft, this circle here. And there's this eccentric around it that drives this blue part here that connects to two sleeves. Drives two at the same time. Then there's this little piston here. All it is is a guide. So the whole thing will in effect go around like this. And the piston just stops the whole thing from flinging around in a circle. So it, it just guides it. It doesn't do anything other than that. So that uses uh, an eccentric um, on the crankshaft since it's a two stroke and needs full speed drive. So that's the Creasy rather unique sleeve drive system. Now, move on to the Napier Sabre here. It's a four-stroke engine. As you can see here, you got this common sleeve drive that runs from front to back. There's two of them, one on each side, and you can see these gears here and uh, these little uh, shafts here that come out from them. This little purple. That's what drives the sleeve sleeve drive crankshaft. So it's got these 90 degree gearing changes here that uh, do it. I have some other details on it here. We'll show you. It's a little easier to see. Another view of the Napier Sabre here. You can see the sleeve drive area right here. Here's the sleeve drive shaft. Here's those gears I was talking about, and the sleeve drive pin there, another one here. This cylinder here is is uh, on power stroke, say the spark plug just fired, and uh, the sleeve is uh, well up into the cylinder, the junk head. Piston's at the top, the sleeve, sleeve drive shaft's at the top. That's the simplest way to remember how these four stroke sleeve valves work. Just remember that when the piston comes to the top on power stroke, the sleeve drive shaft is also at the top, and that starts your cycle from there. This other sleeve here, it's it's at a different position. Another one over here, the piston's at the bottom. I guess its exhaust stroke is just starting on that one. Anyway, I have another close-up drawing here. It's got uh, two Napier Sabre sleeves there. And Again, you get a real good view of the, uh, the 90 degree gearing there. See, you have a little um, stub here that sticks out that connects to the crank pin through a, a ball joint. Another one on top, you got bearings. It's a little tiny sleeve drive shaft there. Let's see it. Anyway, hope that helps you to understand how sleeve drives work. Sontar here, we'll catch you later.